Good morning and welcome back to this unexpected epic that is building this climbing frame. What I'd intended to be a one day exercise is now turned into two. The weather kind of looks favourable but I am really really hopeful this is done today otherwise this series of videos is going to get very boring very quickly. Now for those of you who tuned in yesterday, firstly thank you. Secondly, I took a lot away from it. Um, I am feeling a bit better today. Still not 100% but a bit better. But I learned a lot of stuff yesterday and I think what I've been thinking about overnight, I'm going to do my best to make this video even better and a little bit more vlog worthy. Okay, brief update. So as you will have seen from that amazing time lapse, my cargo net is done. However, we have a problem. You see up here? This is where the swings go, except there's no um, attachments. So I need to ring up outdoor toys and find out what's going on. Okay, so as you'll have seen from the other time lapse, I was on hold for a very, very long time. And here's a tip for you, anyone who's got an e-com business, or any kind of business, when a customer rings up and very polite and explains an issue that is not their fault, but your fault, the very least you could do is say sorry. I don't know if the customer service lady I was speaking to was having a bad day or not, but man, just say sorry. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but a sorry goes a long way. Right, time to build the climbing wall. This is going to be a time lapse, and if I can get it to go right, it should be pretty good. So let's see. Go. Okay, climbing frame fans, the climbing wall is almost done. Now, I have a decision to make. I can either put on all the bits, start doing that now, or because of the cock up by outdoor toys, which means we've got no swings here and here and here and here. I'm tempted to nip out and try and get a, a, an interim fix. You never think, I'll come back to you. Because we've got guests this weekend, we have come to the executive decision that having swings would be quite handy. So I'm nipping out to try and find a solution to this temporary problem. Unfortunately, Go Outdoors did not come up trumps. So now I'm gonna go and try B&Q, one of my other favorite shops. Never in doubt, I should have gone to B&Q first. Girls can swing on their swings this evening. So I bet you all thought I was gonna do a time lapse for this, weren't you? But you know what, you're wrong. Gotta try and keep you on your toes, haven't I? And there we have it, finally complete. Despite the little hiccup with the bits of a missing, I think it's pretty. I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty good, and I think the kids are going to love it. I guess to finalise this video, tomorrow will be better. The more I think about it, the more I know this is improving. But if we improve a little bit every day, by the time the hundred videos is up in whenever October, November, then I guess we'll be as good as some of the pros. But you've got to break a few eggs to make an omelette, as they say. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for, you'll be pleased to hear, nothing DIY related. What do you think? Oh, it is. That's clever. I did it. I was supposed to be like, I had to do it. Help me, Dottie! Who are you talking to? Can you go all the way over? I made the tonkin! I made the tonkin! Oh, I'm a bit scared. You're scared? Oh, good, see? Anyway, how do you attach these to the wood? Magic. 
magical jacket. Wait. Oi. Oi. Oh, that was close. Hey, Andy. What? Oh, yeah, and what? Right? Honey, I'm going to try and do this. Well done, Daddy. Well done, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. Come on, you can go all the way across. Hello! Hello! Hello, Upside Down Girl! I would consider that a success. See you tomorrow.